Today we are going to learn about non-locomotor movements. So we've been learning about locomotor. Locomotor is where we move from one place to another, and that's walking, running, jumping, hopping, skipping, galloping, leaping. And today we are going to go ahead and take a look at non-locomotor. And if you think about the word non, and if locomotor means to move from one place to another, non means that we're not moving from one place to another. We're actually staying in place and we're not moving side to side. We're just going to move within our personal space. So there are actually 10 non-locomotor movements. Today we're going to learn about five and then um, next lesson we'll learn about five more. So the first one we're going to learn about is bending and the word, the Bending means to move from a straight position into a curved position. So that would mean like if you're standing up straight, I'm going to curve my body. And that would be bending. If my arm was straight, this would be to bend it because now it's in a curved position. So go ahead. I want you to stand up and we're going to practice touching our toes to practice our bending. So we stand up, touch our toes. Stand up, touch our toes. Stand up, touch our toes. Good. Today you're gonna to practice these non-locomotor movements in a dance. And in the dance, we're gonna do a lot of bending our elbows. So you will see the bend like this. All right, the next one we're going to practice is pull. So pull means that we are bringing an object closer to us. We are pulling it, okay? So when we're in place to pull, we could pretend to pull a rope. We could, if we had a bar, we could do pull-ups. We are pulling that bar closer to our body. So let's go ahead and practice uh, pulling by pretending to pull an imaginary rope, All right? So stand right here and pull that rope. So we're standing in place, pulling the rope bringing it closer to our body. Good. Like I said, you're going to do some pulling in your dance moves today. And it's going to look kind of like this, pulling. Good. All right, the next one is going to be push, which is the opposite. Instead of bringing something to us, we're going to apply force to push it away from us. So one very common thing that we like to do in PE for pushing is push-ups. Let's go ahead and do five push-ups. We are pushing the ground away from us. So we are starting on our stomach and we're gonna push away from the ground. Ready? Push away from the ground. Push. Push, let's do one more. And push. Awesome job. Today in your dance, you're gonna do some pushing like this. Awesome, all right. Our next one is swinging. Swinging is to move a body part side to side or forward and back. So you could move your arms side to side. You can move your arms forward to back. So in running, we are moving our arms in a swinging motion. Okay, we could even swing our legs side to side. We could swing our legs forward and back in a kicking motion. That would be swinging. So let's go ahead, practice. We're gonna swing our arms side to side. Now swing them front to back. Now let's swing our left leg side to side and front to back. Now our right leg side to side. Woo, lost my balance. And front to back. Good job. All right, we have one more. The next one that we are going to do is called turn. And in turn, we are rotating the body. And it could be a few different things. We could literally just turn our head like this. Or we could turn our body like this. 
a lot of stretches will be used with turning. So go ahead, turn to the side, turn to the side. And your axis, what that means is it's like a stick that's running through your body. And so when you're turning from one axis, this is my right one, to the left axis. And then when I turn my body, I'm turning in a different axis. All right, go ahead and click on the next slide to practice our non-locomotor movements.